Hey guys, look, I know a lot of you don't want to argue with the police or stand on your rights with the police because you believe that if you tell them everything that they want to hear, give them everything that they ask for, they're going to just walk along and you're going to be able to get out of the situation faster. I can't tell you, you can't be wronger. If a police officer comes up to you and he's investigating you, he's investigating you. That's the only reason he's asking questions. He believes that he can give you a ticket or he can take you to jail, one of the two. Now, if he's coming up to talk to you, even a ticket, an average ticket's going to be between $200 and $300 by the time you do court costs, da, 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 da. You know, even some cities charge you for a public defender, okay? Even some cities do that. But the point of the matter is this. Unless you make $1,000 an hour, it's worth the 20 minutes to stand on your rights. Keep in mind, courts have ruled that if you're being investigated under reasonable suspicion, they can only use a reasonable amount of time to determine if you've committed a crime or not. Okay, And a reasonable amount of time has been based approximately 20 minutes. And if you guys look at all these videos, they'll show the whole video. Very rare. Are they longer than 20 minutes if they're standing on their rights? Now, if they start talking, well, yeah, I was just coming down the street and, yeah, just up around the corner. Now he's got more things to investigate. You're giving him things to look at, which is going to take more time. So I want you to look at this video. I'm going to pop in and out. The man stood on his rights, and you can tell the police wanted to give him a ticket. Even at the end, they go, his windows are tinted. Let's see if he gets in the car and takes off. So they can give him a ticket. <laughs> they, police do not like wasting their time, okay? Use that time to your advantage. So take a look at the video, okay? And guys, don't forget, subscribe. I've got some plans. Once I get this up to about 20,000 uh, subscribers, I'm going to be doing some activist. And I want you all to be involved. Even if you don't want to be involved, I will subscribe just to see what I'm going to do because you're going to be a bit surprised. But anyways, let's get to the video. So I've asked them several times uh, if I'm under arrest. They say I'm not under arrest. But uh, they're saying that uh, they need information from me so they know whether or not a crime has occurred. And your officer, Jackson, your badge number is 2098. You are McCartney, number 21. McCartney, number 21. His badge number is 21. And this is Roberts. His badge number is 2137. So they maintain that some kind of a crime has been committed here. And uh, I'm just trying to find out exactly what it is. Okay. So please don't walk behind me. Okay. Can you just grab your ID and then we can, we can get this finished up? Sir, okay? I need to know what your reasonable articulable suspicion I, is hey, hey, because you sir, have absolutely sir, no have, evidence let's have animal control tell you can what i explain the okay every person having care and custody over a dog more than 15 days in the county of orange shall procure that license on the day it becomes due that's orange county code 4170 and so i'm asking you to prove that your dog is licensed to me and you're not well you're presuming that it's my dog you're right. presuming but you it's have, my dog. No, I, I, I'm presuming you have care and custody over the dog. And I'm asking you to prove to me how long you've had the dog in your custody. I don't have to answer your questions. Okay. Well, then I done. don't have to answer your questions. Then we're done. That's the bottom line. Then we're done. I do not have to answer your questions. We're, we're done. We can't talk. We can't have a dialogue if I, I can't ask questions. Okay, let me just check something. What's the dog's name? Would you answer that? I just want to know if I'm legally required to answer your questions. Well, you're supposed to have a dog license. Am I legally required to answer your questions? That's you're what I'm asking. You're supposed to have a dog license for dogs you have care of. So we've been here about 15 minutes, and the dog is still in the car because they have not decided whether or not the dog is in any kind of trouble or any kind of danger so they got four guys here investigating what I don't know I do not. it's a... 
So I have no information on file for your... So do you have a signed statement from the person that called to report this crime? Okay, sir. Do you have a verifiable complaint? I just need your ID, sir. I want to know if you have a verifiable complaint. Why don't you report the vomit on the seat that the dog regurgitated on your seat? So why are you not doing anything? Do you want to get a picture of that? Sure. That's the reason for our concern. Okay. That's what started it. But because of the temperature, I concluded that the dog was in no threat that way. But because of your correspondence with us, I kind of felt like maybe you had a chip on your shoulder or something. I thought, well, I wonder if he has a dog license. So let's see. So I thought maybe you would maybe... So are you saying I've committed the crime of having a chip on my shoulder? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. No, I would think that maybe if you're so antagonistic that maybe you probably wouldn't even license your dog. Four of you guys here, four of you guys here, and I'm the antagonistic one, right? Four of you. And I'm the antagonist. So where is your dog license? Because I'm showing no license. I don't answer questions. Okay. So do you have your ID? I don't answer questions. I want to know why I'm under arrest. That's what I want to know. I repeatedly told you you're not under arrest. Well, if I'm not under arrest and I have not been reported as a suspect, am I a suspect in a crime? Well, you're being detained to investigate. Okay. So I'm a suspect in a crime, right? Which is the violation of the Orange County Code. I'm invoking my right to silence then. I'm going to be silent. I haven't arrested you. My God-given right to silence. You just said that I'm a suspect in a crime and I do not have to talk to you. No, I do not. You don't have that right because I have not Mirandized you and you're not in custody. I have the right to remain silent at any time. But you do have to provide your identification. That's if I've committed a crime. You said I haven't committed a crime. So you have to provide your identification. So let's get your ID going. You said I have not committed a crime. You said I have not. You said you're not under arrest. Right. So why am I providing my ID if I'm not under arrest? That's what I want to know. So we can determine whether or not you have a dog license. I can run your name, too. Because it's not showing. Of course you want to run my name. Won't my name be held against me? This name that you're talking about, isn't that going to be held against me, too? No. Yeah. Help me get me in jail faster, right? In all likelihood, it's going to get you out of here much, much, much quicker. Why? Because it doesn't seem to me like anybody's going anywhere right now. So you guys want to waste your time? You waste your time all you want. How about you just give me your address? I'll just take your address. What's the dog's name? I'll take your name. And I'll send you a license bill and we'll go ourselves. A license bill? Yeah, you should pay your dog license. What's a license bill? You need that explained to you? So you mean to say that having a dog is unlawful. Is that what you're saying? It's illegal to have a dog. He already explained to you what the code was. Now you're just making yourself feel silly. So when you have care and custody for over 15 days. It's living in a country where everything's illegal. Everything. Everything's illegal here. Unless you pay government to get a license to make it legal. You don't make the rules for anything. Right. You just enforce them. Okay. So you got the address and all that stuff? Yeah. Could I get his name? We can get it off. Okay. All right. So we'll back away from him and let him go home. Well, he's got tinted windows and some other stuff. So we'll see if he's going to drive this car with it being illegally equipped. Oh, I see. Fine. Let's find anything. Okay. Let's find anything. Well, like I said, I just want to go home. You're going to be on bamboozer, not me. I don't even know what that is, but okay. Bamboozer? Are you citing him or not? Oh, I would, but I don't. Well. I mean, I would, but. I'll leave it up to you. Do you have a site? I'll tell you what. I mean, I don't know if you guys are going to. I don't answer questions. They didn't ask you if you answered questions. All right, sir. Sorry. I have no questions. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Okay, you have a great day now. Oh my God, just beautifully done. I could not have done it for myself. That man just saved $300. Beautifully done. And that is how you disarm the police.